This video is going to show you how to open a PDF, how to write on a PDF, save it, find it in your files, and upload it onto your Google Drive. Once, the very first thing you need to do is go ahead and open up Schoology, find your specific course in which the work is, go into the folder and open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my assignment. Once I'm in my assignment, you'll see View Attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up click on the specific assignment that I need. Then down below, it's gonna give me options of how to open it. Now, once you download Adobe Acrobat, you should have the Write On PDF app as well. If not, it is available in the Play Store. I'm gonna go ahead and use Write On PDF, and that will open up my document. Now by tapping, putting my fingers on the picture and pulling them open and close, I can zoom in and out of the document. Top left corner where you see the pin, you have the options to pick your tool to write on the document. First tool I'm gonna to show you is the highlighter. With the highlighter, you can pick the different thickness of the pen. You can pick the different color of the pen or the highlighter. Go ahead and down on your text, you can choose something to annotate. I'm gonna go ahead and go to page two. You can see at the bottom, you can do that. I'm gonna to go to page two and I'm gonna start annotating. So I'm gonna highlight, mm, yep. Oh yes, this is really important too. Then up above, I'd like to write a note. I'm gonna go back into my writing utensils, click on my pencil, select my color, and now I can write questions. Um, why? I can write it smaller if I'd like, larger if I'd like. Columbia. Then if I decide that I don't want something, I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. So the second option over is my erasing tool. Now, if I don't like my handwriting, and I'd like to maybe use a text box, all I have to do is that third option is a, or the capital T is a text box. So it's gonna open something up. I'm gonna size it the way I want to. I'm gonna move it where I'd like it to be moved. Then I can use my keyboard to type. Boom, now I have a text box instead of the writing. If I've done something that I think is an error and I don't want to use it, the second, uh, the fourth box is a uh, backup arrow. You can use that or you can put it back with the right arrow. Then once I'm all done and I've annotated all three pages of my text, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save button You'll see that it says it's gone to my phone right on PDF. I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can find that. Go ahead and minimize this. Go into my apps and I will see files. There we go. I'm going to open up my file section. I'm going to navigate to the document section. Once that is open, you'll see a tab that says right on PDF. I'm going to click that. I am going to find my file. And in the right corner, there's a drop down arrow. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go down to back up to Google Drive. I'm gonna give it permissions. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and rename my file. I'm gonna rename it with my last name and my period number. Then I'm gonna make sure that I am in the proper account. I am, I am in my school account. Then I'm going to go ahead and navigate to English 3. And then I'm going to put it into my work folder. I'm going to select, save. You have now successfully opened up a PDF, written on it, annotated, saved it, moved it from your files into your Google Drive.